tem notícias. Tem que ter um monte de dúvida. Tem que ter um monte de dúvida. Tem que ter um monte de We adore you, Almighty God. Abraka do Musa da Bradi Yataka de Ekado Prosundi Rakada Maka de Bradu Yatata Rika Samaka do Mokondo Prosto Broka do Muyata Tarika de Eke de Bredi Kede Meka do Prosto Broka do Manta Ma Manda Bradi Yatata Rika Samaka da Makanda Prosto Mokondo Prosto Tika do Mokondo Prosti Eke de Bredi Yatata Rika Samanda Bradu. You are welcome. God bless you. God bless you. Kasto Brody Yasata Rika Dimika Do. Even as this point as you connect us to Brody, Ekado Broston Tikasa Brady. Begin to thank God. Begin to exalt His name forever. Begin to praise Him for another beautiful day. Darika Sanamanda Brada. Another beautiful day. A day that He has made us. Kundarika Da. Makondo Broston Tikasto. Begin to thank Him. Say, Father, I thank you. You alone deserve all the glory. You alone deserve all the honor and praise. Masanda rika da brada. Mando bros don tika sto brodi yata tarika de eke de bredi. Kadomo kondo bros to bro kadomo kadobra stanta rika da. Anda bros tarika da mandi brade. The Lord is set to do the extraordinary in our midst today. Ina makuse brodi yata tarika do. Even as we connect, we are ready to receive. Even as we join. We are ready to receive. We get to thank him. Thank you for the opportunity to be alive. Thank you for counting your mother living. Thank you because you're not consumed. You are healthy and sound. Father, I thank you. Thank you for all the blessings that he has released upon you. Thank you for all the great things that he has done, he is doing, and is yet to do in your life. We can say, Father, I thank you. You alone at worthy. You alone at worthy, oh God. I am nothing without you, Lord. Thank you for his protection over you. Thank you for provision. Thank you for healing. Thank you for his divine defense upon your life. Deliverance. Thank him for making a way where there seems to be no way for you. Father, I thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to connect for today's prayer meeting. Thank you in advance for what is for what is about to do in your life. You get to ask for mercy. Anything that will hinder your prayers this morning or this afternoon, this evening, depending on your time, just say, Father, forgive me, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. How could the bread be at the Darika's school? Makada Brada Yataman de Brede, Ekado Prostotica Subra de Yatarika da Makanda Brado Mokondo Prostobrukado, Eyatarika Samande, Eke de Presentica Subra do. And I will give you all the praise. We worship you. We welcome you, Lord. Have your way. Have your way in our midst. We ask the Lord that you do what no man can do. We ask the Lord that you do the extraordinary in our midst, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. I talk to myself and each and everyone connected in the pool of the blood of Jesus. From the network, the platform, the broadcast in the pool of the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit, speak through me. Holy Spirit, move through me. I have no power of my own, but Lord, I rely upon you to see me through. Use me, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for lasting, Father. Because I know, oh Lord, you have done it for us. It will be all the glory, honor, and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. You're welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. You're welcome to today's or you're welcome to today's prayer meeting. Hallelujah. In this present prayer meeting. It's 6 8, 6 4, 5 here. 
on my own side will be so fine. I know for some of you it's afternoon, it's evening, depending on your time, things are blessed you. Welcome, 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 even as you connect at this point. Begin to share, invite someone to be blessed. Hallelujah. Invite someone to be blessed because your victory is here. Your victory is here. It is time for you to celebrate. Your victory is here. Did someone hear me? I said, your victory is here. And if you know that your victory is here, begin to come and say, yes, my victory is here. My victory is here. It is time for me to celebrate. My victory has come. My victory is here. Yes, your victory is here. Your victory is here. Victory is an act of defeating an enemy or an opponent in a battle. Victory is an act of defeating an enemy or an, or an opponent in a battle. And if you look at it, the devil is your enemy. Victory is the act of defeating an enemy. Your enemy is the devil. And the battles are those things that you have been facing, that you have been dealing with. Battles, unfruitfulness, barrenness, delay, afflictions, sicknesses, diseases, backwardness, stagnation. Those are the battles. You have to have victory to defeat the devil. And I want you to know that Christ has given you that victory. He has given you victory over that situation you are going through now. What is that situation? At the beginning of this meeting, I, did, I said, your victory is here. And I expected you to shout it, that yes, my victory is here. I am victorious. It is my time to celebrate. Yes, it is your time to celebrate. Because Christ has given you victory over that situation that you are going through now. What is that situation? I am here to tell you victory is here. And you are receiving it over that situation in the mighty name of Jesus all you need to do is believe. If you believe it in the name of Jesus, you have received that victory because that victory has been given to us. That victory has been won for you already. All you need to do is to believe and claim it by faith. Yes, and it will be yours. All you need to do is put on the garment of faith. Your victory is your portion. Victory is yours. You are victorious. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. You are receiving that which belongs to you. You are be receiving that which belongs to you. You are claiming, believing, and you will receive it, that which you are trusting God for. In the mighty name of Jesus, because victory is here. Always declare that you are victorious. Always declare that victory is mine. Always declare that victory is here. And I want you to know that victory will make you a hero. I am confident of victory. And so should you be. You should be confident. You should have that confidence that yes, I am victorious. Be bold and accept victory instead of defeat. Defeat is not your portion. Do not give up. Claim your victory. Take it by force. When we look at the book of 1 John, 1 John 5, verse 4 to 5, the Bible scripture talks about victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Look at the book of 1 John. 1 John 5, verses 4 to 5. It reads, for every child of God defeats this evil word, this evil word, and we achieve this victory through our faith, 
you achieve the victory through your faith. Through your faith, believing that yes, I already have this victory. And as you claim it, as you believe it, so shall it be. And verse 5 is, and who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You have to believe. Because Jesus already won the battle for us. Our Lord has already given us victory through His Son, Jesus Christ. You already have victory over that situation, over that circumstances, over that problem, over that trouble, over whatever it is. The Lord Jesus Christ desire it for us to come out of whatever it is that we are going through better than before. And I want you to declare to yourself in that situation that I have received victory through our Lord Jesus Christ and for that reason I am victorious. But the enemy we want people, people to think, we want believers to be people to think that they have been defeated, they don't have victory. But when you claim it and believe it, you will receive that victory because you already have that victory. But what the enemy does is to deceive people. People keep believing that they don't have victory yet. They have to fight for it. They have to know you have victory already. Just claim that victory. Claim it. Claim it. I am victorious. And for that reason, you are fruitfulness, you are barrenness, you are sickness, you are affliction, you 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 um you poverty, you lack, you stagnation, you limitation. I command you to bow now because I have victory, because I am victorious, because I am no longer a candidate of yours. You never knew the truth that Jesus already paid a price for us, that you have victory. Now you know. You have to take authority and let the enemy know that yes, I am no longer a candidate of yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, I have already won this battle. This battle. You let the enemy know that you know. Winning is a choice. You made up your mind that you want to win. Winning is a choice because of the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And him taking on, on sin and death for us. We win. We already won. You're victorious. We've won that battle. So every day you need to get up and come and say, I am victorious. I am victorious. I am victorious. I have won the battle. I am more than a conqueror. Sometimes we hold ourselves back from winning. No more. Now you know. Now you know. Now you know. Be confident. Knowing that victory is receiving success. You have received success. You are not a failure. And declare, I am not a failure. The enemy will want you to feel like you are a failure. You are a disappointment. No, say, I am not a failure. Failure is not mine. I am not a failure. And yes, failure is not yours. You are not a failure. And for that reason, giving up is not an option. You have to claim that. You have to keep reclaiming. You have to keep fighting until victory is totally yours. Believe in it until you receive it. Can be clear upon your life that you are receiving victory, that you are winning, that you are a winner in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You can believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that He died on the cross for your sin, then your faith in Him has already given you victory. I've already given you answers. I've already given you results that you are waiting for. All you need to do is claim it. 
wants to believe and have faith today. You are victorious. Don't lose hope. You have already won. You have already won. You have already won. There are, there are times when the enemy will try to blind you or try to discourage you. Just rebuke the devil and he will flee. You speak to that situation and command it to get, to get behind you. Because I am victorious. What is that situation in your life? That lost and this situation. Speak to that situation. Say, I have won. My time is now. Get deep behind me. I command you, get deep behind me. I am victorious over you. And I want you to know that there is life. Life and death lies in the power of the tongue. You have to declare it. You have to speak it. You have to declare it. You have to declare it. All you need to do is claim the victory and believe that God is on your side. God is near you fighting that battle for you and with you. He has already won. Because our God never fails. He fulfills his promises. When he says, you just need to believe and claim it. And as you claim it, so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you ready for victory? Are you ready to take or to claim your victory by force? If you ask yourself, am I ready for this victory? Am I ready? Am I prepared for the victory? Am I ready? You are waiting for your victory. It's time for you to prepare. As you are waiting, prepare for it because it is coming. The victory is here. How do you prepare for this victory? By praying, by reading the scripture, by fasting, by seeking God, abiding in Him, praising, worshiping. Having him. Because you have to keep doing that. Because as you receive that to the enemies, you will be trying so hard. They will try to fight you. By staying in his presence. In his presence. Praying. But in his presence meditating on the word of God seeking God abiding in him and he will abide in you the victory is sure the victory is sure the victory is sure don't look back. Don't give up. Don't look back. You are winning. You are victorious. Do not let anybody or anything discourage you. You have victory. You have victory. We are more than conquerors to him who loved us in all these things. First Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. All you need to do is say thank you. Father, thank you. 
for giving me victory. Thank you, Lord. I am victorious. Because success is mine. And success is yours through faith. David was victorious. David won the battle against Goliath because God was with him. Like David, our victory comes because God is with us. And what is that battle you are facing? Failure, illness, depression, fear. You fight with temptations. There's a very complicated family situation. Marriedness, unfruitfulness. Whatever battle you are engaged in is not beyond the reach of the Lord to go. What we need to do is to believe, trust in Him with all your heart, your soul, and all your strength, and that victory is yours. And that battle is won. Because God is on the battlefield with you, you are in a position to win the battle. God is advancing and fighting for you. I want you to start claiming it from now that victory is here. Victory is mine. I am victorious. As you declare, so shall it be. Because victory is already yours in Jesus Christ. Because by faith in Jesus Christ, you and I have victory over that situation, over sin, over darkness, over death. Jesus himself is our power over sin. Jesus is our victory. I hope you can name it. I am victorious. Command that situation. Speak to that mountain. That situation is a mountain. Speak to that battle. That situation is for battle. Speak to that battle. Say, I am victorious. Get it behind me. Get out of my life. I am not your candidate. Now I know better. Victory is already mine. And I'm claiming it. And I receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Say, Father, thank you for being with me on the battlefield. Thank you, Father, for fighting for me. Thank you, Father, for giving me victory. I worship and I bless your holy name. You are the Lord of hosts. Mighty in battle. Thank you, everlasting Father. Because your presence in the battle with me guarantees my victory. I am victorious. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you, Almighty God, for all that you are doing. I have unshakable faith. I am courageous. The Lord of hosts is on my side. I will not be moved. I will not be shaken. I will not fear. David knew God and he had faith in God. 
And because he had faith in God, he won that battle. And after that faith, I believe that yes, I am victorious. I've won that battle. And you will see it happen. You will see it begin to happen in your life. You begin to see that victory. See that victory because the presence of God is real. God is everywhere, and so He's always with us. So He's with you, fighting that battle alongside with you. But you have to have faith, you have to believe. You have to believe. And as you believe, so shall it be for you. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare that henceforth, from now on, you will not struggle. You will not struggle. Whatever that situation is, you are victorious. You are victorious. You have won that battle. And so it is and so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right from today. You will prosper. Right from today. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. You are the head and not the tail. You belong to Jesus. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And for that reason, the devil is under your feet and you need to declare that. You need to say that the devil is under my feet. For I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus. I from today, everything I touch will flourish. Everything you touch, I from today will flourish. You are victorious. And I the Almighty God fill you with the spirit of excellence that makes for success in the name of Jesus. The Almighty God fill you with the spirit of wisdom, understanding, and knowledge that makes for success and victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, may you be obedient to God. Even as the Lord gives you instructions, directions, and means for victory and success, that you will be obedient in the name of Jesus. The Almighty God give you the strength, the grace that you need to heal and to obey the instructions that you receive from Him. In the mighty name of Jesus. May Almighty God guide your choices and decisions daily. In the name of Jesus. The strength that you need physically. The strength that you need physically, spiritually, mentally. To continue to, to, continue to walk in the way of the Lord. And the grace, the Almighty God release it unto you in the name of Jesus. I pray that Almighty God teach your hand to walk and your tongue to battle in the mighty name of Jesus. May Almighty God hold your hand in righteousness unto victory and success all the time. In every place and in all circumstances. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed and highly favored. May almighty God impart you with grace to take responsibilities. To do the right thing at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spoke to your entire house on the pool of the blood of Jesus. 
you shall succeed right from today you shall succeed you are successful right from today success is your portion in the name of Jesus where you have been experiencing failure receive success in the name of Jesus because you are victorious receive success in the name of Jesus where you desire, you desire divine healing from that diseases and sicknesses infirmities you are victorious and for that reason you are victorious over that sickness over that disease over that infirmities over that affliction in the mighty name of Jesus amen right from today you are moving forward wherever you have been expressing backwardness right from today begin to express forwardness forward ever backward never in the name of Jesus amen whatever you thought right from today surely must be blessed right from today success is your portion in the name of Jesus no more lack whatever you are experiencing lack no more lack surplus is your portion excess is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus amen whether you are experiencing delay delay in fruitfulness delay in childbearing delay in your career delay in your, in, in, in your promotion your elevation approval you are expressing delay I break that yoke of delay right now you are victorious and for that reason right from today no more delay I decree speed upon you in the name of Jesus, speed is your portion. In the name of Jesus, no more stagnation, no more limitation. Wherever you have been limited, we see speed. In the name of Jesus, overtake those who have gone way before you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Right from today, you shall pursue, overtake and recover all, not some, all that the enemy. I'm stolen and taken away from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. This is your season. This is your time of testimony. You shall testify. You shall celebrate because victory is yours. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because victory is here. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Increase is your portion. Elevation is yours. Even as I'm as you are claiming this, so shall it be. Speedily begin to receive it. Receive all those thoughts that you are claiming. Receive it and even more than you do want to claim. That are released upon your children. In the name of Jesus. When people are complaining that they say, casting down, you will be sinking, saying they say, lifting up. And so it is, and so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, amen. You will have the next be a blessing to others in the name of Jesus. You are covered, you are protected. I am Almighty God to put a head of fire around you, around your household. In the name of Jesus, no evil, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, and everything that wants to rise against you will condemn. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you are blessed and highly favored. It is well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You have won. Your victory is here. It's time for you to be celebrating. Begin to thank God. Say, Father, thank you for all that you have done for me. I am grateful, oh God. I am grateful, oh God. I am grateful, oh God. Even as you begin to have believe that your victory is here. You begin to see a transformation, a change, a turnaround in your life, in your home, in your family, in your business, in your finances, in your health, in the life of your children. And so it is, and so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And as the Lord does it for you, return back to testify. Do not hold your testimony. Return back to testify of God's goodness. Of what the Lord has done for you. You are blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. I want you to shout it. Shout it five times. I am victorious. I am victorious. 
I am victorious. I am victorious. I am victorious. And so it is a right from today. My name has changed. My name is victory. My name is victorious. And so it is and so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. You are blessed and highly favored in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. The blessings that you have received, they are permanent. In the mighty name of Jesus, the enemy will not steal your blessings. The enemy will not take your blessings. You are victorious. And begin to claim it right from today. Do not be quiet. Claim it daily. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am celebrate, celebrating. My victory has come. Ha! Kadobra Sonta Kadabra Diana to declare it so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. We soak our declarations and petitions in the pool of the blood of Jesus. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Please share. If you have not shared, share, let be an ambassador for Christ. Let someone be blessed. Hallelujah. Have a blessed and a wonderful day until I come your way again. Remember, Jesus loves you and I love you too. Join me tomorrow is our faith clinic. Join me 11 a.m. Central Standard Time for our faith clinic prayer meeting tomorrow. Come with your prayer request and I know Almighty God is set to do great and mighty things in your life, in our midst tomorrow, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have a blessed and a beautiful day. God bless you. Amen. Shalom.